This is the Definitely Uncertain Podcast, brought to you by Gold Rock Capital. Each week, we look at how high net worth families can improve their lives, decisions, and investments in a deeply uncertain world. We always aim to provide practical information, even if we can't offer specific investment advice. This is the Definitely Uncertain Podcast, and my name is Darren Rockman, and I am a partner at Gold Rock Capital the multifamily office uh, for more than 20 years, servicing high net worth families in Israel and around the world. And to, today with me on the podcast, Yaron Samid. Hi, Yaron. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me, Darren. Um, so uh, Yaron is the managing partner of Tech Aviv Founder Partners Fund, and he is also runs the Tech, Tech Aviv Founders Club prior to uh, creating Tech Aviv, which is a uh, you know important part of the uh, tech ecosystem here in Israel. Um, he was the founder of BillGuard, which was acquired by Prosper, um, which was helping people get control of their finances. And prior to that, he founded Pendo Networks, um, which was acquired by Microsoft. And Yaron uh, lives in Israel, and uh, we sometimes have coffee, and that's uh, always a very, very interesting and insightful. So, so Yaron, let, let's start. Tell us a little bit about the uh, the Tech Aviv story. So, um, first of all, thank you for having me. I... Um... I have been on the other side of the table. I've been an entrepreneur for the better half of uh, the past two decades and uh, been a part of building three companies as a founding CEO, two more as a founding board director. In parallel to all that, summer of 2007, I started organizing um, what became the Tech Aviv Founders Club, which was uh, a YPO style organization for Israeli tech founders, private, today global network. Um, we started with a small cohort meeting in a coffee shop. Today, uh, 3,000 members worldwide, mem- major branches in uh, Tel Aviv, New York, Boston, and Silicon Valley. That's a big um, coffee shop. It- wow. Uh, amazing. So re- really quite a jo- journey. So you, you you probably have a as good a view of the Israeli venture uh, industry as anybody. Um, and really, you know, both as a founder and, you know, sort of, bottom up and top down, I suppose, and as, as an investor. Um, what would you say is the current state of the venture market in Israel, March 2023? So first of all, we we very much mirror the macro global um, roller coaster ride that is the private equity um, uh, industry for tech. And so we have taken the same uh, sort of uh, dip in terms of venture dollars uh, into the country. First of all, 90% of our our venture capital comes from international um, financial institutions, family offices, angels, et cetera. And we had a peak year in uh, 2021, um, $26 billion poured into Israeli tech companies. In 2022, that dipped down to 15 billion. And in 23, we expect it to be even a little bit less. Um, That is the... uh, that's the current state. Um, but overall, uh, I believe that as you have more of these companies that are category defining Palo Alto network type companies, um, you're going to be inspiring the next generation to build those kind of companies versus the quick exit and the headline. So your Jewish mother is proud of you, right? You are, you're going to be focusing on a far, far bigger uh, goal and that's going to float you know, all boats. Uh, I'm very, very optimistic about that happening because of the deep technical talent that we have. And um, like I said, we are past the quick exit days. Yeah. We have a whole generation of seasoned entrepreneurs who have come back. A lot of them went to the US, Europe, et cetera, so wherever they were. Was, They've come skills. back. They've come back. They're 45, they're 50. They're at the peak of their career of knowing how to build a company to scale of an IPO company. And they actually want to do that. They have the energy. There's something in the Israeli culture that it's like you're an entrepreneur for life. You love building. And now you're you're polished and seasoned, having built a company in the US or the European market, and you're building your next one. An exit is just not interesting for you. Um, you have the patience to go long and you're going to you're going to see a lot more of that. If we had 128 unicorns come out of Tech Aviv in the last 15 years, I think in the next decade we're going to double that. Not in the next 2 years. The warning single is 
Two years is an opportunity for us as investors to get stock on clearance sale. We're going to go shopping. Get yourself some really good, inexpensive shares in these amazing technology companies. And then the long term, which is how you should be thinking as an investor anyway, is going to look very, very bright. Well, uh, on that incredibly optimistic note, uh, Yaron Samid, thank you really very, very much for uh, being on the podcast. And uh, uh, we look forward to hearing a, a lot of success coming out of Tech Aviv. My pleasure. Keep up the good work, Darren. Okay. And thanks. And thank you, everybody, for listening. And uh, look out for more podcasts coming your way soon. Bye, everybody.